Hello, I am Jared Stone and today I will be showing you how to make a straw rocket. For this project you will need flexible plastic straws, tape, scissors, pencils, and you want one that you can draw with to make your design, some cart construction paper of any color for the fins, scrap paper to make the body of the rocket, and modeling clay. I'm using pink but any color works just fine. To start, you will want to cut some paper into a small square kind of like this and then take this paper and wrap it around a pencil to form the body of your rocket. Once you have this formed, you will want to tape it closed. I like to tape it on both ends and in the middle just to ensure that it stays shut. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and make your design of your fins on the construction paper. So any design works and you can have any number of fins. I like to use three fins like this rocket or four works just fine as well. And once you have your design made, you can go ahead and cut those out. and you can make fins any size. I have some as small as this one or big blocks and I already have some cut here that look kind of like shark fins. So once you have your fins cut out, you can go ahead and tape them onto the rocket body. I'm just going to use three fins, but four works just fine as well. Now you want to take a piece of clay, and I'd, it doesn't have to be very much, and using this you will form the nose cone of the rocket. So you just kind of roll it into a ball, and then you can roll it out on the table to make it into a cone or any shape you like. And then I like to keep the pencil inside the rocket body while I put the nose cone on just to keep it from going down inside the straw. And you want to make sure the nose is on there securely so that it doesn't come off while in flight. Once you have that done you can remove the pencil and your rocket has been made. In order to fly the rocket, you take a flexible straw and flex the end up like this and then put the straw rocket over it and hold it like so. Now whenever firing these, you want to make sure you're shooting it away from other people so you don't hit them or poke them in the eyes. That could be harmful to them and cause injury. But these are fun little projects that always provide a lot of fun to little kids. They work great as cloverwood projects and I've really enjoyed making them as well.